All right, this is my first official face cam, so I gotta make it special. I taped a bed sheet <laughs> to my ceiling. And I wore my fun floral shirt. Let's go for the scarf. There we go. So now we have the scarf, we have the floral print. We could also uh, do the tiny end of the nose blue sunglasses. <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay, wait, let's get some, let's get some mood lighting going on. There it is. I think I look really good. Let's, let's shrink. Are you serious, dude? There he is, dude. Look at the man. Look at him wow. right here. The five top things in Zach's apartment that I hate. Why Why don't Zach's walls look like this? Because they look like this. Oh, the group walls. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. Brown goo coming out of them. What? Every time it rains, the goop comes. And I don't know where it came from. And now I haven't put a service ticket order in yet. Right now. Do that right now. <laughs> Question and answer time. <laughs> okay. A question and I, you know, keep the audience engaged. So yeah. here we go. I mean, you had me at goo. In the home, where do you keep your trash? Under the sink or very close to the kitchen? My answer to this one is going to be on his YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Everything's in that open bag. It's not even tied. So, wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Two days yesterday, I did. I did. So this is a picture of Zach's snack drawer, and it's empty. And it's been empty for like three weeks. You, so that means. What are you talking about? If you're I, hungry, you make muffins. You just. <laughs> why do you have so house, like, much like baking mix? Oh my god. Okay, thank you. Moving on. <laughs> Look, you gotta get that brown goo taken care yeah, of. Yeah, for real, man. That's an actual problem. Get some help. Get some help. Get some help. <laughs> Oh Did you? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> hurt my feelings. <laughs> Abu, I'm glad you lost Junibo Kart today. Wow. <laughs> I'm Ooh, sorry. I'm lashing out. I don't out. care right. that you broke your elbow. <laughs> yeah. In and out burger, more like in and out burger. Oh, like vomit. Clever. Like in and out burger is not good. It's just <laughs> okay. At best. Wow. And look at the lines. <laughs> it's not worth your time. It's not. It's true. All right, let's look at their menu. When you go to In N Out, you have one question you need to answer, and that's how much would you like? <laughs> There's <laughs> not variety. <laughs> so inside of In N Out, God damn. It's just it's just wrappers full of mediocrity. Wow. You're, you're not necessarily disappointed. It's but you're not you're not happy you ate it. You're just like, okay, well I I ate <laughs> yeah. this is every conversation I've had about In N Out Burger with someone who defends it, okay? Have you ever had In N Out Burger? Yeah, it's actually kinda of bad. Their fries are awful. You have to get the animal style fries. Okay, well that's like a secret item, like everything I mean <laughs> you want to just go there for chili and cheese fries. Yeah, but like, it's so good. Is it though? Would you get the fries by themselves? No, okay. The fries are bad, but like the rest <laughs> is super. Okay, so how long have you had to wait? Oh, I've had to wait like two and a half hours before. <laughs> Was that worth it to you? Well, not really, but it's kind of like a fun thing to go. Okay, so it's not, you, you don't like it. Well, it's good. You don't, you don't like it. Do we need to understand all 3,187 areas? No. Yes. Yay! Oh, good job. Mom, what animal is that modeled after? What is that? Uh, Your mom. Oh, dude, I got him. <laughs> I right, see it. Well, counting sticks. <laughs> it's it's the latest... chair is just slowly turning. <laughs> Daylight savings time should be banned. New yes. Zealand, also a bad country. Noted. Uh, we're... <laughs> take that Let's... back. I don't live there, but take that back. Yeah, yeah I know. I do. Uh, okay. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. I mean, I also live in the United States. He's about to get canceled one slide in. Created all the way back in 1918, a different time. <laughs> I'm pretty the sure. Do you were around in 1918? <laughs> yeah. Are we in the middle of a World War One right now? Anybody know? No, we're not. Why do the farmers need that sun? We're, we live in the era of the future, of the internet, you, okay? You don't know why farmers need sun? Am I allowed to, Thanks like, refute mid-presentation? <laughs> my my claim is I'm almost positive daylight savings is not to for sun, but is actually to save energy. The reason it's... Okay, well, that's that's a great... I'm gonna... That was the idea when it was introduced in World War One. Have everyone be awake when the sun is up, 
then they don't have to like burn their lanterns or light their torches or whatever they did in 1918. But that's that's another point also. No one knows what time it is in the US ever because we're changing all the time. 845 my time zone. Yeah, it's 945. So. Okay. <laughs> no one outside of the United States knows what time it is in the United States. Blade, what time is it? Uh, yes, Matthew? Nothing. <laughs> mm, exactly. He can see my points starting to come to the surface. Let's try to get a drink Next water. point. <laughs> the government's being lobbied by Big Daylight Savings. By Big <laughs> Daylight, okay? Big Daylight? Mr. Saving. I'm with you. Okay. Okay, Therm? <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, see your presentation's over. <laughs> yeah, let, let, let's roll. That brings me to my actual topic, because I knew that that wouldn't be controversial enough. I knew that you guys would agree with me. I knew that you guys would see the logic in my ways. And so oh, now that we've no. all established this baseline, I must reveal to you my true opinions. <laughs> Bum bum. There should be no time zones. That would make it even more. All right, go for it. Dog, go crazy. <laughs> it's, it, this could never work. It's, <laughs> all it does is push the, the confusion from what time is it to where you are to what time is it that you're getting up? Yeah. <laughs> when do your people rise? Oh no, I missed an event because I forgot how to convert time zones properly. I forgot to tune into twitch.tv slash unsurpassable Z at 7.30 Eastern because I forgot to say, did, hey, we're going to meet at 3 p.m. Did, did Are you not use that Google? Yes, did I you am. just admit on stream to being stupid? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Sean is Sean here. Is <laughs> He's announced his presence. Would you think that it's ridiculous, Therm, as someone who just said this three seconds ago, that... Hmm, the sun rises at 7 a.m. for me, but 12 p.m. for you. Is that ridiculous? Yeah. Would the world be able to function? <laughs> no. No, it's worse, actually. I present to you <laughs> a China. They got a lot going on. That, that is not good. It has nothing to do with their time zones, though. So they, <laughs> they share on. one. They got a lot going on. I'm, I'm going to keep it <laughs> China's got some stuff that's not going their way. Someone literally, you could have called it frog o'clock, and as long as everyone knew what, who's with me. Your slide shattered like your argument. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> personally. Look, it just pushed just the same kind of confusion onto a different thing. Yeah, that's more and layers because, of confusion because we, I think you're just not very good that, at addition. Like, it's 8 o'clock here, so over there, do some math. It's 6 p.m. You have to go, it's 8 o'clock here. Where in the sky is their sun? <laughs> yeah. Um, Z, I'm with you. I think you worked really hard on this, and I'm very Thank proud you, of Shani. you. This is the only thing you've said, and it's been wonderful. You Z, worked very hard. He I showed up over him. later than halfway through your presentation, <laughs> so I think him being the only one who agrees with you is not a compliment, dog. I Simple addition and subtraction skills would be good as well. I'm actually quite good with time zones. This argument comes from people missing my streams. People, yeah, that's it. <laughs> That's it, pretty much. Well, yeah. make sure everyone knows what my stream hey, is. Hey, That's Z's, why your view counts. Chat. Thirty-seven percent of people agree with me. Thank you very much. I rest my case. <laughs> Thirty-seven. That's <laughs> dog. Dub, man. That is a sure. Dub. Whatever helps you yeah. sleep. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever helps you sleep at frog o'clock. Oh, uh, <laughs> frog o'clock. Whatever helps you sleep at the sure. abstract concept of darkness. Just in your chat, and I'm seeing uh, agree with Zbots. What's uh, <laughs> <that's that? laughs> Therm, It's your turn to present, my oh, friend. Okay. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the Walmart Mac and Cheese Smackdown, <laughs> featuring my friend Davy. And there's a the little arrow. Hello, um, Davy. Every Hello, single baby. one of my slide transitions will take exactly this long. <laughs> you had to manually do that. I did, yeah. This is the cease and desist I got from Mr. Walmart for using his name. So that's important to note. So a little bit of backstory. This was originally going to be my face reveal video. Uh, I recorded it with my friend Davey. The audio was so awful that I could never turn it into a video. But I have the I have the video files, uh, and I didn't have a set. So what we did uh, was we <laughs> ran to the nearest party city, and just grabbed like ten dollars worth of children's uh, party decorations, which Paw included Patrol, nice. Paw Patrol uh, tablecloth, Blue's Clues, hanging decorations, and of course, 
uh, unnamed Davey. minion inflatable in the back right, mm. and Davy. Yeah. So I was each... just, Mr. Thurm, what does this have to do with mac and cheese? Uh, well, <laughs> it started with the special features. Patience, <laughs> grasshopper. Each slide is going to have three bullet points of description. Uh, a high uh, 4K res image, Davy quote from my good friend Davy, and then we'll score it in the bottom right. It was cheesy, it was yummy, uh, and it was has mac noodle. Davy quote, it's not like I'm eating this and I'm like, wow, that puppy's cheesy. And here are scores. <laughs> Each mac and cheese will be scored on a scale of cheesiness, <laughs> texture, presentation, and overall experience. We gave it a seven for cheesiness, seven for texture, six for presentation, nine for experience, uh, total for 27. Doc did a couple points because one of the noodles ended up in my sinuses, uh, which I did uh, not appreciate very much. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. so lost a couple mm -hmm. points for the sinus noodle. Uh, do I hear a question, or are you just Jeez. not able to keep up with what's going on? <laughs> yeah, uh, so how did you get that in there? I ate Jeez. it. <laughs> okay, well, the sinus is above your mouth. You've never so like... gotten, like, a fry or, like, a noodle, like, in your... In your Look, system? I've gotten liquid up in the sinus, okay? I've never <laughs> once gotten a That happens to me constantly. Is that lunch. just me? Sometimes Sarah, I'll swallow help, something man. weird and it'll like, get lodged in there. Okay, well. Go to a doctor. Um, oh, what? So moving on <laughs> to the next slide. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this is funny. real. This is not color graded at all. This is real. This is what we really saw. Oh this is real. Uh, it was red. It was very, very red. <laughs> Mm. And uh, burned like the fires of eternity. The Davy quote, getting a lot of smells from this bad boy, holy jeebus. Uh, which was <laughs> absolutely accurate. There were a lot of smells. A lot of smells. Here are our scores. Didn't really Ooh. taste like cheese. It just tasted like pain. Texture was a two. It was straight water. Uh, <laughs> we gave like it a strong part. 10 for presentation because we thought the red was hilarious. Experience gets a five. Uh, definitely taste-wise, experience would be a two. But you just can't match that experience. Like, look at it. Even looking at it is in itself an experience. Hey, how many points off would it be if this one would have made its way into your sinus <laughs> as that happens so frequently? Uh, probably like 20, because that would have been one of the most <laughs> painful experiences of my life. Uh, but that it would didn't. not have been good for the score total. So don't, <laughs> no, on, no worries. Know. Just give it a moment. Just give it, just give it a moment. Oh, All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheesy jalapeno antichrist. So <laughs> this was something. Um, mm. this is the one that inspired me to make this. Is I saw, I couldn't find a picture of the cup, so it's the box. I saw a bright green cup of Cheetos Cheesy Jalapeno Mac and Cheese at a Walmart. And I was like, how is this still being sold? And as I was thinking that, this poor 10 year old child put it in his mom's cart. And I was like, I guess that kid. So I bought <laughs> literally everything they had, uh, this being one of them. Uh, it was Ugh. spicy, it was gross. And no further comment. The Davy quote coming into this got to be the one I'm most scared of. I'm going to have to reciprocate that one. Uh, Such a good Davy quote. And here, here are our scores. Ooh. Uh, it was cheesier than the Flamin' Hot. Texture was a little better. Still pretty watery, but again, better than the Flamin' Hot. And the experience is a two because this one was an absolute enigma. I can't figure out how to describe this accurately. It felt fine. Originally, we ranked it not too bad because I was pleasantly surprised that it wasn't too terrible. But then afterward, that was the one where every time I thought about it, I almost threw up. And I can't think why that was, so I had to dock it some points in experience. Do you think this left like an emotional damage? Oh, one hundred percent. That one, that one really messed me up, Matt. I promise you, it was some. It had okay, some definitely. X factor that almost killed me from the inside. <laughs> this is the fancy schmantz kind. Devour. It has like all the little packages of the individual ingredients are like gold colored, so they really think they're incredible. Uh, so it was fancy. Uh, it was definitely squishy, mm -hmm. and it it did in fact feel like gravel because there was something very firm in there. And then I realized that the bacon bits maybe they just spray painted pebbles red. I don't know. Uh, it didn't taste like bacon, uh, but did taste like uh, hard. They tasted like a rock, <laughs> so it felt like how I was eating is it... moist gravel. Yes, question. <laughs> how is it both squishy and feels like gravel? That's the, that's, the the that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. That's why it was yeah, so I confusing to eat. I'm, I, I'll just admit that I won't understand this. Then mm -hmm. you've already become one step closer it. to enlightenment. Zach, don't worry Mary about place. it. <laughs> Here are our scores. 
pretty good hey. overall. It tasted good. It was just the texture that threw us for a loop. Seven for the cheesiness, three for the texture, eight for presentation, seven for to overall experience for a very respectable 25 out of uh, nebulous number concept. Next slide. <laughs> so here's a lot the thing. For feels like gravel. Jeez. <laughs> so here's the thing. Oh, well, there's a reason. Feeling like gravel is nothing compared to what we were about to experience. Oh, boy. Oh. So, welcome to Chef Boyardee. Yeah. This one confused oh, me. Also, I spilled it on my chair, which was really sad. Um, <laughs> this one confused me the most because I love Chef Boyardee, and I assumed their mac and cheese is probably serviceable. Always been down for some spaghetti and meatball, mayhaps some beefaroni on a cold winter's eve. The mac and cheese, as you may have picked up from our bullet points over there, was not good, it was bad, and it genuinely did taste like banana bread. It tasted <laughs> so strongly like specifically banana bread. I can still remember it tasted like banana bread with like sour chemicals is what it tasted like. It was intense. It was a lot of, well, it was the Davy quote. Oh God, I don't. Why is it like that? Why is it like that? I don't like that. Um, <laughs> which is exactly how we both felt. Uh, so here are our scores for oh, Chef Boyardee. Oh, oh no. Oh. Kind of a rough go. Presentation wasn't too bad. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mainstay of the classic Chef Boyardee cup. There was no, it did, nothing tasted like cheese, but there appeared to be cheese. So we gave it two pity points for that. There was the appearance of cheese. Texture had to be zero because there was just nothing. It, there was so much give. Uh, the pasta and the sauce were the same consistency, which is actually really impressive. Not only was it one of the worst things I've ever eaten, uh, it also got on my chair and on my carpeted floor, which is still stained yellow to this day. Oh. Uh, so that's gonna be minus 92. Uh, we're not done though. <laughs> oh, God. what the? So <laughs> I found a cup of mashed potatoes <laughs> and I was like, this is mashed potatoes. I was like, well, this looks like the cup mac and cheese, right? Uh, I see some of you have already noticed the Davy quote, which is this is mashed potatoes. He was correct on that note. Well, did you tell him beforehand? You just served him mashed potatoes. <laughs> I, I told him beforehand that there was a sneak contender. I didn't tell them specifically that it was mashed potatoes. Genuinely one of the most surprising, I'll put it that way. It was one of the most surprising culinary experiences of my life. You open it up, it's straight powder and it smells like yeast and you think, what have I done? Uh, so I just kind of accepted at this point that I was not gonna be making it to age 20. Uh, threw it in the <laughs> microwave machine. When it came out, first of all, I was just surprised that it had like solid, it became solid and had like mashed potato consistency. And I was like, wow, it actually kind of worked. As you can see by the scores, was genuinely <laughs> one of the greatest things I've ever consumed in my 18 years of life. Unfortunately, did have to tank the zero on cheesiness. Did not get a lot of Naturally. cheesiness. Uh, I couldn't think of what to rank it as an experience. And the first number that came to mind was 27. So I just kind of threw it down because it actually was very good and I will never, I, I don't think I'll ever experience the same amount of like pleasant surprise that I did with this cup of mashed potatoes. It was transcendent. I can't think of how else to describe it. We have our final scores. <laughs> Bringing up the rear with negative 92 points is gonna be our Chef Boy RD. <laughs> Fought valiantly, couldn't quite make it happen, couldn't quite convert. Fifth place, barely sneaking out of last place. Would have been last place if not for um, Chef's insane mistake. Uh, was cheesy jalapeno with the 17 pointer. Top five, can't scoff at that. Top five, pretty you impressive. Can when six. Of six. No, no, no. <laughs> but like, top, just, five, guys. Top, top five. Top five of six. Top five well, in top the entire five. Walmart of cut mac and cheeses. One could argue top four because uh, potatoes, but. I mean, taking it a step further, Flamin' Hot Cheeto uh, defeated its cheesy green brother with a three-point lead, 20-pointer. While Cheesy Jalapeno was initially ranked higher when we first ate them, at the end we had to drop Cheesy Jalapeno a lot of points just because neither of us could move on from what we had just experienced. Now we're moving on to the podium. This is where it gets serious. <laughs> Threeth place is going to be... <laughs> are Devour Alcredo Bacon Mac. So that kind of is a testament to the caliber we were dealing with that the dish that felt like gravel is in the top 50%. Uh, tooth 
is gonna be our classic craft Easy Mac, which we definitely underscored because it's delicious and absolutely dominates everything below it. Uh, it does not deserve to only be two points ahead of Devour. I would eat Easy Mac over Devour 10 times out of 10, uh, which means everybody knew it was coming <laughs> from a mile away. Taking home one place is gonna be <laughs> the mashed potato with an incredibly strong 42 points. I mean, it was just never a competition from the beginning. I it actually- have been. <laughs> Shut up. I actually It's purchased... mashed potatoes. Yeah. Z, I'm gonna ask you to please watch your tone for a moment. <laughs> and you may think that that marks the end of my presentation, but we have one little bonus game for everybody. So if you wanna, folks at home, if you wanna take this fun quiz, what kind of mac and cheese are you? Um, it looks like the type of mac and cheese that I am is mac and cheese. Yeah. Oh, that's so I, weird. I got mashed potatoes. I also that's got crazy. mac and cheese, actually. <laughs> um, so folks in the chat, uh, I know you would get bored out of your mind by Z's presentation, so I thought I would mm. bring a little <laughs> bonus game to the table for you all. Uh, let me know what you got in the live chat. I'm not watching. Uh, but do it anyway. This leads me to my <laughs> final slide. <laughs> there you go. All right, that's Yay! Like, probably could have shaved off 15 minutes with some normal transition speed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted it to be a slow burn, Matt. That right. was the goal. 